Hello, I'm doing this for the antiques group, but um, I think a lot of sorting out needs to be done with great wheel spindle mounts, and so I'll, I'll share it elsewhere. This is a great wheel, walking wheel, wool wheel, muckle wheel, big wheel, whatever you call it, whatever it was called in the past. It is, it is a very um, large drive wheel driving a smaller spindle, achieving average ratios of 50 to 60 to 1, meaning that every turn of the big wheel results in um, 50 to 60 turns of the spindle. That is without an accelerator. With the accelerator, it effectively doubles, and I'm going to go into that. Um, I'm just starting with this so that you you know know where we are. So drive wheel, some sort of spindle attachment and that's what I want to review so I'm going to walk back into another room where I have some stuff set up and yes I own a lot of great wheel parts so I have gotten them out now let me attach this it's been a video kind of day so the tripod is out all right, now let me get um, let me get one more thing because I want to explain mounts. Sorry for the delay. I gotta get it. All right, what I've gotten is the male mount off of my most commonly used great wheel because I'm going to show what we're talking about with mounts sometimes. So this is this is the upright. Okay. First of all, how do you attach a spindle to a great wheel? There are a number of ways. The most common way is with a mother of all. Let me make sure that this is where you can see. Yeah. Is with a mother of all and maidens or sisters through which you often have holes drilled. Forget, ignore that. That's how I store my drive bands. There are holes drilled. If there are not holes drilled, then um, you're going to tie on the bearing that I'm about to show you how to mount. Uh, the tied on bearings were often of corn husks, and, you know, it's an attractive way to do it. Um, some people, notably Granny Childers of Kentucky, swore by the corn husk bearing saying that they were faster. I don't know about that. When you're attaching, you can let that go. I'm just doing a video. When you're attaching the spindle of a, a direct drive spindle for the great wheel, if you aren't tying it on, use a piece of leather, put it through the holes, and then turn around and put in a wedge. This keeps the spindle from returning. Okay, now I don't have the other one, but let me show you what you do. Before you mount the spindle, put it through this side and then put your strip of leather on there. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to get it in and you will have to start over. Actually, here's one that I can fake it with. See, then you would put this the leather through and put in the wedge. If you forget and put this in first, thinking that you're going to do just exactly like that, and yada, 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 and put in your wedge, then all of a sudden it's not going to fit, and you're going to say things, and you will have to start over again. Ask me how I know. Now, one thing that I want to point out, because I'm scared that I will forget about it, is that direct drive spindles look like, well, that was look like these. By these, what I'm pointing out is that they have this long adjustment for um, alignment on the spindle. Sometimes you will see that it is um, turned smaller. I used to think that this was due to wear. I no longer believe that this is due exclusively to wear. I now believe that this was done by some turners when they made the spindles in order to increase the speed because the smaller this is relative to the big wheel that's driving it, the faster the speed of the spindle. But what do I mean? Why am I making such a big deal out of how they look? I want to compare that. I just put this one down for the heck of it, okay? Compare that 
to these. This is a, an accelerator spindle. It does not have to align very much. I'm going to show you how they're done. These can be used in the direct drive system. All right. You might find, though, that you need to make yourself some washers to hold it into place once you figure out where the sweet, sweet spot is that it aligns best with your wheel. Washers don't have to cost you anything. Cut them out of cardboard all right, and grease them down with Vaseline or some other um, petroleum-based lubricant such as Vaseline and they will work just fine. That way you can stack them up. Cardboard comes in different thicknesses. Cardboard is very useful for fixing spinning wheels. All right, so that is Mother of, mother of All with Sisters or Maidens. It will mount on a male system. A male system means that this is sticking up. If you have a female system, I don't have an example here, the female upright doesn't have this. Instead it has a hole drilled into the upright. You have to have, for a female system, you have to have a peg of some sort that fits into your mother of all uh, bat's head that I'm going to do in a minute or whatever and then it this this peg goes into the female mounting system all right it's not a big deal they're not hard to make but you need to understand what you're looking at so mother of all maidens female mount this is what's known as a bat's head I guess because it looks like one it also takes a uh, direct drive spindle. If you all you have is an accelerator spindle, that's fine. Look, that's going to fit too. What I find, with, excuse me, there seems to be a lot of sniffing this week. What I find with the bat's heads, because they're recessed into this wood, is that when I mount the with the um uh, uh, bearings on, and again, I'm just faking this with the mount. Okay, when I mount. I leave them kind of long so that when, and pretend there are two here, so that rather than close and tight to where it might hit there on the inside, instead, not that long, but you can tell how well prepared I am for my videos, that when I have it mounted in there, it the, the string which goes around that, don't forget to put your string on will pull it out of the recess just a little bit by way of its tension and that way it won't sit down in there and be dragging all the time. So this is a bat's head. You notice this one has the peg for mounting so it will go into a female system. If I have a male system I'm out of luck. Okay. Frequently if you have a male system you're out of luck if you buy stuff on the market and I'll tell you for why. Even though this is conical meaning that it tapers, it still is going to have difficulty fitting into everything on the face of this earth because there were a lot of different systems thought of. It might be that this is too big, all right, or it might be that when you finally wiggle this original peg out that that hole is too small, all right. So if you're buying a great wheel and you want to uh, be able to accumulate accessories and not have the dozens of them that I have to where I can always find something that fits then you might want to get a female you might want to think about getting a female or having this um, well no you, can, you don't want to cut off antiques think about getting a female one if it, or or write to me and I can walk you through what, what your other options are other than messing up antiques okay so there so bat's head mother of all sisters maidens bat's head here's a a system that I'm not quite sure if I made up or not. It just kind of got drafted into service and then I've kept it around. And this is one that just mounts again on a male system. Not this one very well, but I could thread that in, you know, could hemp it a little bit. It mounts like this and then the spindle mounts like so. As with the bat's head, I would mount this. See how I've got a lot of room there? Okay. That's to allow the, the drive cord to pull it up off of the, the the mother of all or whatever you're going to call this here. It's hardly a mother of all if it doesn't have anything else with it. Um, that's to allow it to pull off with the drive cord so that it's not down in there rubbing. Okay. The final thing that I want to discuss is an accelerator, often called a miner's head. 
as with a lot of things that are branded a miner's head is not a miner's head unless it was made by Amos Miner. Amos Miner patented this idea in 1803 he was making a lot of them by 1807 or 1810 several thousand a week there was so much demand apparently by you know as, as demonstrated by the sales that Everybody that could come up with a patent tweak patented their own or just made them, hoping that there wouldn't be a patent suit. The 1800s were the century of patents. It's a wonderful period to study. This is not one by Amos Minor. It is not a miner's head. This one was made, I believe, by Benjamin Pierce, but it, it doesn't matter. There were scads and scads of them. Um, Generally, I refer to these by the generic and somewhat boring term accelerator just because it accelerates. This is designed to go into a female mount, as you see with shaker wheels and, and others. The shakers actually made wheels intending to put only accelerators with them. You notice the little, you don't have this huge mess here with the drive, all right, just a very small drive. This is the reason you don't take the drive cord directly to the spindle. For an accelerator. Instead, you drive to one of these, okay, align with one of these, and then the drive cord turns this big pulley, because that's all one piece, and that drives the spindle. When you take a wheel and drive a second wheel, and that second wheel drives a third wheel, you will, in essence, double the speed of the final wheel, and that's what the accelerator does. My favorite wheel spins at a, a, a direct drive ratio of 48 to 1, meaning that one turn of the big wheel is 48 turns of the direct drive spindle, okay? When I put an accelerator on it, it's running, let's round up, at about 100 to 1. 100 to 1 is a nice speed. It is Sharka speed. It is spinning short staple cotton speed. Every Now, I can spin short staple cotton on uh, direct drive, and I've done it um, to make sure, because I, I was convinced that every great, great wheel spinner on the face of God's earth said, hey, I can do that as soon as cotton showed up. Nonetheless, you are really moving that wheel kind of fast to get it going, the big wheel kind of fast, and so the accelerator makes for um, much more ergonomic and much more efficient spinning. Uh, you can, I think that the last thing that I want to say after sorting this out is that you can direct drive. If you can get it to a line and you want to slow down, but what you have in it is an accelerator, just don't have a pulley here or do what I did and just pull it off. You can use it when you want to. Connect directly to there, and if you can get it to a line to where the drive cord stays on, then all you have to do is direct drive it and leave this system not working. The way that you mount these, we were having a discussion, that's what fostered this, this whole video. Rather than mounting at the back, the way that we did with the Mother of All and Maidens, the bat's head, or this, whatever this is that I may have made up, um, you can see here that because of the configuration, it, they only had to align this spindle with this big pulley. It doesn't have to have anything to do with the great wheel. And so they sunk the spindle down into the mother of all. See the the hole there? They sunk that down in and moved it back to get it aligned as best as possible with this. Well, what that means is that in order to have bearings mounted to hold the spindle, they had to put just a hole in. Sometimes you'll see them coming out in the back. You see this came out in the back. But then they often put a peg or something of the sort there as well to hold that into place. Um, this one, well, it was moving a little bit. That's that's just a little thin peg that's in there. That's a very, very common thing to see with the accelerator. So if you're trying to get these out or put them in, but more importantly get them out, make sure that you watch for that because otherwise you're going to break it off in there. So those are your types and then... We did also, as my father used to say, what have we learned? We learned about the four basic types of mounts for the spindles, mother of all and sisters, whatever this is, bat's head, and accelerator, first patented by Amos Minor, and then the two different types of great wheel spindles. Thank you.